From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. North Korea's foreign minister, Rai Yong-ho, says President Trump's personal insults against Kim Jong-un have increased the likelihood that North Korea will attack the U.S. Rai Yong-ho? Wow! <laughs> Think of the fun our commander-in-chief is going to have with that name! Well, this is just crazy. There was a home in Florida that was spared by Hurricane Irma, but last week it was swallowed by a sinkhole. Yeah, is, is this a real story, or are they filming another Final Destination movie? White House advisor and presidential son-in-law Jared Kushner apparently used a private email account to communicate with White House staffers. <laughs> Please. Please tell me this is from a private server sitting in his bathroom. That would be too good. Cher says she keeps her costumes in a special temperature-controlled unit to preserve them. Rumor has it that's also where she keeps her birthday suit. The Trump administration's travel ban has been extended to North Korea, Venezuela, and Chad. So, if your name is Chad, you can no longer travel? A new study says that more than one in eight Americans are alcoholics. I'll drink to that. Jerry Lewis left all six of his children from his first marriage out of his will. I'm sure they'll be able to recoup all that money with a tell-all book. A so-called Christian numerologist predicted the world would end last Saturday. So I'm, I'm just checking. Did it end? I was kind of hoping for a little bit better life than this in the afterlife. If a woman finds that the kind and considerate man she has lived with for years suddenly stops helping with the laundry and taking out the trash, it's probably because the couple got married. Researchers have found cohabiting couples are far more likely than those who are married to split housework evenly. But after the wedding, they revert to the typical stereotype, with the woman taking on the great majority of tasks. Well, yeah, I mean, why do you think we ask you to marry us? Lillian Betancourt, heiress to the L'Oreal Cosmetics Empire and the world's wealthiest woman, has died. She was 94, and she always felt like a blood relative to me. I mean, I'll miss, uh, uh, uh what's her name again? Uh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh Lillian, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll miss her. Data shows that Amazon's price cuts at Whole Foods resulted in an increase of 25% more shoppers. Lower prices equals more customers. Who would have thunk it? Are you listening, Ferrari? A study says cheat days may help dieters lose weight. Honestly, I didn't read any further than that. A new study says that loneliness is as bad for you as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. And if no one has a thing to do with you and you already smoke 15 cigarettes a day, you're double dipping. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook Could It Be True? Volume 1 Urban Legends by Cindy Parmeter. Hear a free sample or purchase the title at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you've put on weight since you tied the knot, it might mean you are happily wed. New research in health psychology found that over four years, both happily married men and women raised their BMIs by 0.12 every six months. Unhappy couples, however, stayed the same size. So, I'm fat and happy. Yeah, I can accept that. General Mills says it'll bring back Trix cereal with artificial colors and flavors. So, the current version will be called New Trix, and the old version being brought back will be labeled Trix Classic. On average, 1,700 Americans a year go to the emergency room after injuring an eye with a toothbrush. Dear America, you're doing it wrong! In a speech, Bill Gates apologized to Microsoft users for Control-Alt-Delete to start Windows instead of having a separate button. Dude, if you're going to apologize, I'd start by saying you're sorry for the blue screen of death. Am I right, weirdos? A big desk, especially in a corner office, is the best sign you've made it in the corporate world, but something quite ominous can happen when executives sit behind those mammoth desks in cavernous offices with lots of room to spread out to work. They're more likely to become greedy. 
That lush corporate environment in which they work day in and day out makes them feel far more powerful than they have ever felt before. And it's not just big desks that cause this. Big car seats do the same. And you don't have to be a highly paid top corporate executive to relate to this. You just have to drive an SUV. That's the word from researchers at Columbia University in New York City who've concluded that having a sense of power and big desks or big car seats leads to this can encourage a range of dishonest behavior. This includes such things as stealing, cheating, lying, unethical behavior, willfully breaking traffic laws, and parking illegally. As in, the rules by which the rest of us abide don't seem to apply to these big people. Uh, fair warning, world. My wife wants to buy a truck. A cafe in Wales has come up with a unique way of deterring pesky pigeons from bothering its customers. The owners of Coffee Fresco in Swansea provided water pistols for their customers to aim at any pigeon that lands on their table. I say we bring this to restaurants in the United States and aim at spoiled brat kids who won't stop screaming. A semi-truck carrying 40,000 pounds of vodka overturned in North Carolina. Even if you're not drinking and driving, the road is. Tom Brady's new book is being criticized for questionable health tips. For example, Brady says drinking plenty of water prevents sunburn, so he drinks an incredible two and a half gallons of water each day. Well, no wonder he's always calling timeouts. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton's debut novel, The President is Missing, co-authored with prolific thriller writer James Patterson, will not hit shelves for almost a year, but it will be adapted into a Showtime series. Okay, now, now I've not read it, but my guess is that it's about the nation's first female president who then disappears, and the first gentleman is really happy about it. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton's new book, What Happened, has already sold 300,000 copies, mostly to people with the last name of Clinton. If you're listening to the Daily Dose of Weird News podcast, don't forget to subscribe and please rate the podcast and leave a positive review. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe and click the notifications bell so you never miss a single episode. Whether you're a podcast or video weirdo, you can support me and what I do by telling your friends about the show. Thanks. <laughs>